Hey guys, welcome to this brand new series of Azure Purview, where we are going to learn about the different functionalities and the features offered by Azure Purview. This series will help you to understand how does Azure Purview helps and how the data governance elements can be implemented in your organization or for any further customers. So without any delay, let's get started with the first session in this series where we are going to spin up the Azure account, Azure Purview account. And in the subsequent sessions, we are going to learn about the different features and functionalities offered by Azure Purview. To start with this, you need to go to your browser and type portal.azure.com. And once you are landed here to the home screen of Azure, you will get all the resources that are under your subscription or the resource groups. For me, it's a new subscription. That's why there is no resource under my subscription. So I will create a new one. To create a new Purview account, you need to search Purview on the search bar and you will get this option, Microsoft Purview accounts. Click on this and now click on create. Here you need to select your subscription. I have my single subscription, which is pay as you go. That is by default selected. Okay, I already created one. So let me select that. Else you can also create a new resource group as well. Then I need to give the Purview account name. So there has to be a naming convention you need to follow. You can also refer to the naming convention of Azure. You can search Azure naming convention. And here you will get all the naming conventions for each of the resource. If you scroll down, you will get what, uh, what naming convention to be given to the subscription, to the source group and all that stuff. I will go back and for purview, I know it starts with P view and I, I can give the organization name. So I will give it as demo else. You can also give your organization name or the customer one. Then after this, we can give the environment name like dev, UAT, pre-prod, prod, etc. Let's name it dev. So this is my purview account name. Then we need to select the location. There are many locations in which Azure purview is supported. However, there are only six regions under which managed private endpoints are supported for Azure purview. For now, I will select East US. And after that, managed resource group name we need to give. So by default, it has taken some name and using this resource group name, it will create a new storage account, which will be auto managed by Azure purview. And it creates in the backend to manage all the catalog scans and ingestions. Let's go to networking. I will keep it open for all the networks for now. I do not need under a private endpoint, but later on in the sessions, I will show you how to put Azure purview in a private network and how to use these private endpoints to communicate between different services in a secure environment. Click on next configuration. Right now, I do not want to ingest anything from the event hub Kafka topics. So I will ignore this option and click on next. In the ideal situation, we should give some tags like environment as dev, and you can give other uh, tags as well, but I'm ignoring the other tags for now. Click on next review and create. When you are creating the purview account or it's a new subscription for you, you may get some validation error that resource group providers like Microsoft.Storage or Microsoft.EventHubs are not registered. So you will get an option to register here by clicking here. So you can re register that uh, by clicking just one button. So then your validation will be passed. Now we can create this. It will take few minutes for us to create Azure Purview account. So let's wait for this. All right, so the deployment is complete. That means it has created a new Azure Purview account. So we can go to the resource directly from here and you can see the Purview account has been created. That's all for this session. Let's continue to explore the other features in the subsequent sessions. Thank you. Thank you.